welcome guys to truly ludi i know it's been a while but i'm back bitches we are here 2024 we are doing this i don't know what this is but anyways we're doing it before we get started i want you to i want to start to talk about how um this channel is going to be it's going to be about two things that i'm really passionate about which is personal finance and sewing I've been sewing for a while. First of all, I started with earrings, now I'm making clothes, and this video is mostly about sewing and about my 2023 season, couture, or whatever you wanna call it. Anyways, I want to bring that to you to show you. This video is gonna encompass some of my favorite items from 2023, especially 2023 was the year that I became a mom, my body kinda changed, and it was kinda hard. One thing people don't tell you is how your body will change and actually not go back to what you expected it to be or whatever it was before, because everything changes when you become a mother. We're going to talk about some of my favorite outfits. We're going to rate them. I love all of these outfits, so I'm not even going to rate it. It's, I don't even think this rating system is like, you know, it's going to make sense because I love every, every one of these pieces that I had time to create. And I can't wait to show you what it is. So first in, first, 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 <laughs> we have here at, okay, should I start with five or should I start with one? Let's start with number one, actually. With number one, like, I think that was, like, my favorite outfit of last year because it was the first time I actually used, I used some um, Nigerian lace fabric to make something really beautiful. It's this purple outfit. Yeah, I love this purple outfit so much. I wore it to an event, and I also made a mini one that you're going to see soon, but I love it. I love the design, and this was not freehand. I actually did use a pattern. I use a pattern on Mood Fabric website, and... I really loved it. It looked really nice on me, got so many compliments, and the fact that I was matching with my daughter, people actually really love that. Yeah, so this is my number one. The second outfit that I really liked from 2023, it's this blue outfit I wear it for my daughter's christening. I love this outfit because I saw a girl wearing something similar to go to church, and I was like, oh my god, this is so nice. And blue was, like, blue is my color. I really love blue. And uh, um, I was like, oh, christening, maybe I should find something blue to wear and then make something else really cute for my daughter in the same color. So this is the outfit and I really love it. And I thought it was really cute. The third one, I, I love this one. Yo, imagine I wanted a linen like outfit. I wanted a top and bottom linen piece because you know when those people you know woman wearing linen feeling really nice when the linen fabric hits your body and there's wind and there's beautiful things happening and you really like that yeah this is what i envisioned for myself so i started creating this yellow linen fabric set and i was like okay i made the bottom first and then when i was making the top i realized i didn't have enough to make a long sleeve so i was like it's okay we are going to create a short sleeve and when i was creating the short sleeve guys you won't you won't you won't imagine i didn't have enough fabric for the color so i had i remember i had a previous piece that i was working on was a white linen i had some scrap fabric from i used it to actually create the color that you see I really love this outfit. I wear it so many times. I wear it on so many occasions and I always get compliments like, where did you get it? I'm like, I made this. This is really like beautiful. My thing. Love it. The next one is not really sewing per se. It, it's more embellished. I was trying to, okay, so I saw this creator online and uh, um, she was wearing, I think it was a Zimmerman outfit. It was a Zimmerman eyelet shirt. And then I was like, oh my God, I want something similar. But I didn't have an eyelid shirt. So I was like, okay, I have this white shirt, um, white, like white button up t-shirt that I can change into something and add some embellishment to it to look like hers. It didn't really look like hers, but I really liked the way that white t-shirt came out and I wear it on so many occasions. And I'm still gonna try to find something that, cause I really like that outfit and I feel like that outfit would look really nice on my body type. The last one is actually something that I am wearing. You see, I got so many wear of this outfit, this shirt. This shirt, I was, I thrifted this shirt and I was like, I didn't really know what I was gonna do with it, but it's because when I touched it, it felt really nice. It's 100% cotton. And I was like, oh my God, I love the color and I love like, you know, the stripes and everything. But I was like, I'm not going to wear it like that. I needed something to pop. I need a little shimmy, shimmy, pop, pop. 
And then I, one, this is so old. On one of my birthday, one of my friends actually bought this for me from Amazon, but I saved it, never threw it out. And then I remember I had it and I was like, oh, let me just add the red and the blue, the Haitian in me, I'm sorry. The Haitian in me always find a way to match red and blue. So yes, let me add the red and the blue and, the, and make something out of it. And which I did and I wear this so many times. I haven't done so many pictures on my Instagram. I love it. You can't tell me nothing because this is like my favorite thing. My favorite thing I wear to it. I wear it everywhere and I always style it really nicely. And in this video, I made the top, you know how it was, and the bottom, I actually made it because I was looking for a large bottom wide-legged jeans and I couldn't find one that I really liked, especially I remember I told you like my body changed, everything was like really tight in the waist but not really fitting. So I decided to make my own and I made these that you're seeing in the video and I really, really love it. So these are like my top 2023 outfits. And I can't wait for 2024. I can't wait to share with you everything and do the cost breakdown as well because I feel like that would be interesting to add on top of that as well. So, and maybe one day I'll be able to film while I sew. I'm not really, I don't have a studio. It's more in my, like a spare room in my house and I'm sewing. Um, maybe I'll, I'll share the process with you and that will be Nice. That will be something cool that you would like to see. These were my 2023 top outfit and I was so happy to share it with you. I'm so happy to actually create this video. It's been years since I made a YouTube video. I almost gave up on YouTube because I was like, what's the point of it? But this is something that I actually enjoy doing. It's something fun for me. I really hate editing video, but what am I going to do? I'm a one person show for now, but we'll see where life takes me because here it's truly Ludi suing and finance. Wherever you are, just be wonderful and live on.